Helldivers 2 is back in the news, and unfortunately, it's not good. I don't know if you guys are aware about this, but Helldivers 2 is available on PlayStation 5 and on Steam. As up until now, you could play it with your Steam account and not link your PSN account. However, Helldivers 2 will require Steam players to link to a PSN account. Now, I know a lot of you might be telling yourself this might not be a big deal because you already have it on PlayStation or your PSN account is already linked to your Steam account. However, not every single region in the world that has access to Steam also has access to the PSN network, which is why this is an issue. Attention democracy defenders, Helldivers 2 will soon require players on Steam to link their accounts to a PlayStation Network account. According to the announcement, all the new players on Steam will be required to link a PSN account starting May 6th, while current players will have a little bit longer with mandatory enforcement delayed until June 4th. As things stand now, if you already have the game, you have a little bit more time to play without linking the PSN account, but eventually it will be mandatory for everyone, regardless of the fact of whether you bought the game on Steam already. According to Helldivers 2, developers Arrowhead Game Studio links to a PSN account was always going to be a requirement for Steam players, and the policy is there to ensure players are protected from griefing and other in-game abuse, but the game community isn't buying it vociferously protesting the decision on social media and on Steam itself. Well, here's the thing. If you had told players from the very beginning that having to link your PSN account was going to be a requirement in the future, people wouldn't be mad. However, you decided to not say anything, keep it, keep everyone in the dark, and then suddenly spring it on us. We have been hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, run amok, and flat out deceived. Once the game has already hit incredible sales due to the popularity of the game so you already have your fan base and then you're retroactively throwing in this psn linking account situation again if you had just been honest from the beginning people would not be upset you would have less sales for sure because a lot of countries in the world where the playstation network is simply not available especially if you're on steam so that's a very very sly tricky a uh, dishonest, bamboozle, and frankly disgusting tactic by Arrowhead. We're going to be looking at the Twitter post that we have um, by uh, Helldivers2 official community. Helldivers2 account linking update. Due to technical issues at launch of Helldivers2, we allowed the link requirement for Steam accounts to a PlayStation Network account to be temporarily optional. That grace period will now expire. See details below in post. Again, if you had just been honest from the beginning, this wouldn't be an option. Uh, this wouldn't be a problem. I get it was optional back then, but did you guys say anywhere that it was going to become mandatory? The way things are being handled right now, I don't really think you guys were completely transparent in the beginning. Account linking plays a critical role in protection of our players and upholding the values and safeties of security provided on PlayStation and PlayStation Studio games. This is our main way to protect players from griefing and abuse by enabling the banning of players that engage in that type of behavior. It also allows those players that have been banned the right to appeal. Again, me uh, forcing me to give my personal information to Sony does not make me feel secure or safe. You're just telling me to give my information to Sony, which I'm not particularly uh, opposed to because I have a PS5, but there's a numerable amount of people that do not want to give their uh, information to Sony, and which is completely understandable because big companies do what big companies are going to do, and they're going to sell that information so they can give you more ads to your liking. As such, as of May 6, all new Helldiver 2 players on Steam will be required to connect their Steam account to a PlayStation Network account. Current players on Steam will start to see the mandatory login from May 30th and will be required to have a linked Steam and PlayStation Network account by June 4th. PlayStation Network accounts are free and easy to set up using this link. We understand that while there may be inconvenience to some of you, this step will help us to continue to build a community that you're all proud of to be a part of. Many thanks for you to continue support of Helldivers 2, Sony Interactive Entertainments. Again, what happens what happens to everyone who has bought the game in a region that does not have access to a PlayStation network? What happens to those people? As you guys can see, that was not addressed in this, uh, in this Twitter post. And you know what? I don't think they're going to be addressing it anytime soon. Thankfully, people on Twitter did what people on Twitter do, and they decided to clap back by letting us know that 
there are currently only 69 countries that have access to the places network which means if you are unsupported country you will be locked out of the game remember this is a game that you paid full price for um, that you were not told that you'd be locked out of the game, that you were not told that linking your PlayStation account would be a requirement. So this is incredibly an underhanded tactic to boost sales, get higher numbers, and then lock a bunch of people out and it's going too bad, so sad. Shortly after the announce, the game saw a flood of negative reviews, receiving over 14,000 negative reviews to date alone on Steam. Here's a picture of the graph, guys. As you can see, it was a fairly positive reception for a very long time. And in the uh, just on May 1st, 1st, it just boom, completely dropped because again, people are not happy about the deception. If companies are just upfront with the customers, we will be willing to tolerate so much more. Though PSN accounts are free and quick to make, Players do have reasons to be upset. PSN isn't available everywhere, and this move could potentially lock players in certain countries out of their game permanently. Players have also expressed concern about the security of their data. Sony recently suffered a data breach, though the information stolen was connected to employees and not customers. True, it was a data breach of, of workers. However, uh, if the database for the employees is not any more secure than the database for the consumer, I would generally think that the consumer databases are, I, rewind, let's try that one more time. I generally believe that the database of the internal of the employees of Sony is probably way more guarded than that of the consumer because obviously they're going to sell that data to other people. So if people can get into the internal side of Sony and hack and take that information, it's probably just as easy or if not easier to get consumer information. Honestly, I think this is a terrible move by Arrowhead and if any other company plans on doing something like this, do not, it is not a good idea. That's gonna be it for today's video, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Do you have Helldivers? Will you be still getting it or will you be trying to get a refund? Let me know in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, be sure to hit like, share, favorite, and subscribe because we're trying to hit 300 subs before the end of the month. And if you don't wanna help, well, remember at the end of the day, I'm just some guy on the internet and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. If you want to see more of my face, be sure to click on the video you see on screen right now.